went and saw your ex-boyfriend? I know, Sam. I feel like I've disappointed you. You have disappointed me, Liv. The reason I didn't tell anyone or may have seemed shady about it is because I just, I don't know and I constantly feel like I'm letting everyone down. Like, I felt like I was letting Digby down because I was treating him so badly. I feel like I'm now letting you guys down because I've spoken to him. It, it does annoy me and maybe it shouldn't annoy me, but it does, it does annoy me. It's been a whole saga, this whole thing's been a saga. You've broken up with him, you're lonely, you've gone straight back to him. You shouldn't treat anyone like that, for one. You shouldn't. I know that. You also I fucking shouldn't know that. You shouldn't treat your mates like that either. We are all just rallied around you. How can you go from all of those? I don't things? know, Sam. I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. I didn't know through all of that stuff. I was so confused. I didn't know what I wanted or who I wanted. I didn't know. You've literally. If you think I'm that bad of a person, Look. why didn't you turn to me and just say you're breaking him and don't go out with him? Why I didn't you that. say that? I said to you, Liv, when you broke up with him, I said it's incredibly selfish if you go back there now. He's in a headspace now. He, he thinks it's all OK. It's not, because you're still feeling those feelings. And don't try and pretend you're not, because you are. And you're just covering it up because you don't want to be alone. And I get it. It's hard. It's not that. It's not that I don't want to be alone. Then what is it's it? You broke I up with him, him a week ago. Why did you break up with him? Look, a lot of us were going away for the summer. And, and if I'm honest with you, I wanted you there. I wanted you, like, part of the team, sort of take your mind off everything. A lot of me planning getting everyone away was for you. And I'm if I'm honest with you, Leo, I don't, know, I don't know if I want you there. Speak to me like a man and say what your problem is. I just... OK? And oh. I'm saying has, has, Harry be listening me again. I mean, it's just... I'm not belittling you. I'm saying we can be a man. This. I mean, Harry. That's what I'm saying. OK. Things are going both ways here. I like both of you. I'd like to hang out with both of you. Can I hang out with you guys together? Yes. I don't, I don't have can, an issue with can that. Can we bury this beef? The reason why, Harry, the reason why is because you were a bit of a dick to me, Harry. You can't I don't think I was at all. You dropped me, like, literally, we were really close, and you literally just dropped me. I just tried to hook up with my best mate's bird, so... She's Prince. No, <laughs> actually, so did he, actually. Yeah. But he actually... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> we actually both did. Um, <laughs> it's something we have in common, thinking about it. I mean, he just tried it a lot harder and got rejected, but... We haven't really, like hung out since, and I'm willing to put that in the past. The reason why we haven't hung out is because I don't want to hang out, because you're okay. just well, you're, you're so your fake. Your girlfriend's asked us to come to a dinner this evening, and I'm yeah. the, doing the mature thing and being civil, yeah. and you're clearly airing an issue that, I mean, personally, you should just well. put to bed and get over it. OK, well... Or you could just put yourself to bed because you are 20 years old. Well, because you just said my own opinion to other people's opinions. Fucking average bloke, so I don't want to be You've friends. said that so many times before. Yeah, because he's fucking bang on, that's why. I mean, it's not great, is it? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely not. I mean, you're so calling, you're calling average. me average when it's you've, like, fucked two other girls and hooked up with another person as well. Up, you've, chased, you've chased, this, you've chased it's girlfriends it. for years. No, I didn't, which yeah. is yeah. bizarre I mean, that you'd even say that. And it's so weird that you bring up things from the past that are so relevant. You think that I'm going to cheat on my girlfriend? Let's see where we are in two months' time, because I think you will fuck everything up. This is nothing, there's nothing I can say. Well. I am. I, honestly, I'm so sorry. You're not. It's I'm and just, I feel I like a fucking idiot. I, I would, had your back in front of Harry. Like, I to, uh, he's not going to cheat Harry, on me again. Oh, I don't care. All along, Harry was fucking correct. Yeah. And I, all I can say is that from the bottom of my heart. You're not I'm sorry. sorry. Don't say I sorry. You're you. not sorry, Sam. If you gave a fuck about me, you wouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got a miles. Hope you don't mind. Jasmine? Yeah. I'm meeting with him for a drink after, actually. I know. This is my, that's my friend, I see. And he's also my friend. Are you going to pursue things in miles? No. That, that hurts me more than anything. Well, at least you know how it fucking feels. <laughs> you really do deserve this. So, James said that he bumped into you at the gym, and he said that you had decided to stay here. And to hear that from someone else when you hadn't discussed it with me was a bit of a shock. But I don't really think that it concerns you. Well, it does concern me How? because... Because you came to London yeah. to come visit me. I and... did not come here to visit you. I literally come here all the time. I was excited that when I was going to be here, I was going to spend more time with you because I thought you were a very fun person. OK. But, I mean, fuck, not really anymore. To hear that from someone else, you can imagine the kind of pressure that I then felt and felt very claustrophobic and almost... Okay, but something. I'm not your girlfriend. Like, we have never even gotten near that. Okay. So why the fuck would I move countries for you? 
Honestly, if you think that, your head must be fucking so far I don't, up I don't, your ass. I don't, you can fucking smell your peroxide, seriously. I, I don't think it's that. You are the one who was messaging people and telling your friends you were in love with me. I wasn't doing that. Yeah, I know. No, I get that. And I get that 100%. You've also been saying to people, oh, I don't really think Mel's sexually attractive and I don't have sex with her. I mean, I don't That's think... a fucking rude thing to go and say. Who did I say that to? You said that to Sam. Okay, I possibly did say that. But I yeah, okay, Jamie, I've literally never had to bat someone off as hard as I batted you off.